And this is what happened. I earned over $1,000 in one hour, and I want to share that with you. What is up, everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Pat Harris, and I'm a full-time Amazon FBA seller. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made over $1,000 in less than one hour, and it isn't related to Amazon FBA, but I wanted to share additional streams of income that I get while I'm doing Amazon FBA. As you know, Amazon FBA is pretty hands-off, so you don't have much work to do once your products arrive at Amazon's warehouse, so I'm always doing things on the side, trying to earn additional income, and this is what happened. I earned over $1,000 dollars in one hour and I want to share that with you. So if you are a full-time Amazon FBA seller and want to earn additional passive income, this might help you out. Before we get into it, if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel and also comment what else you would like to see me do videos on. My main focus is Amazon FBA, but I also want to share other techniques on how you can make money. Now there's nothing special about this. I just wanted to share it with you because if I could do it, you could do it. Now let's jump into my computer and show you how I earned over $1,000 in less than one hour. Let's go. All right, everyone, we are inside my computer and what we are looking at is Robinhood. You've probably heard of it, you might even have it on your phone, but it is a commission-free trading platform and you could trade stocks and options without having to pay a commission and they make it really easy to do. They geared this app towards millennials so they could trade stocks and basically a 10-year-old can use this app. So if you're confused or you think it's too hard, don't, it's really easy and I'm going to get into it. But first off, if you wanna try Robinhood, just by signing up, they give you a free stock and you could get any of these stocks down here just by signing up with no money. And I get a free stock as well, I'm putting that out there. But once you sign up, you could give your link to your followers, your friends, or your family. So whenever they use your link, you get another free stock and then they get a free stock. So it's like a chain reaction, so it's kinda of cool. But that's not what this video is about. I'm gonna get into how I made money and I'm gonna show you a video of it actually happening so you have proof and can actually believe me before we jump into it. Again, here's the video, I screen, re I screen recorded it from my phone. It was 7.01 in the morning and right when I woke up I had Disney and it was Disney and Visa options and I made the trade the prior day before the market closed. And if you look, I made over $2,000 in less than 30 minutes, really. But by the time I sold this, I only made about $1,800. Remember, it could go up, but it could also go down. So it's pretty risky. Only bet what you're willing to use. It's basically like gambling. But it's pretty exciting when you get these big jumps like this. I used to trade stocks and buy them at full price, but I'll show you why I think options are way better and you get way more gains. So let's jump into my Robinhood account and I'll show you an example of an option trade that I'm doing now so you can get into this and start making some money. Let's go. Okay, so first off, I put this little sheet together so you could get an understanding of the basics of what options are. There's two types of options. There's a call, which means you think a stock is going to go up, and a put, which means you think the stock is going to go down. So you can actually make money as a stock goes down and I'll get into that. But basically a call, you are not buying the actual stock at the full price. So you're not buying Square at $81. You are buying a contract to buy the stock and then you multiply that by 100. And you can read at the bottom of this screen, it gives you a better understanding of what I'm trying to say. I know it can be, it could be confusing, but there's a lot of videos out there if you wanna really look into it. I'm just giving you the outer shell. So we're going to jump into this account and show you how I do an option trade and show you a current trade that I have going now. And I will close this down here. And then this is my trade. This is Square. I bought eight contracts, which, which means 800 options. And basically, I bought them at $1.23. And the current price when I took this screenshot is $3.40. So I over doubled my investment, as you can see here. And today alone, I made 680 bucks, almost as much as I put into this thing in just one day. So I'm going to go over to my actual Robinhood account. And you can see today it's dropped a little from when I took that screenshot. So now you can see how quick it drops and then how quick it could go up. But let me go into it. So when you sign up for Robinhood using the link in the description, you will see that you are not able to trade options right away. You have to do a quick survey and it's going to ask you like four questions and it's really simple. Basically asking you if you have any experience or if your family's in Wall Street, the usual stuff. And then you can trade options without having to pay any money. So you would do trade square options and then here we are. 
So this is what the window looks like. Again, if you buy a call, which is a type of option, you think that the stock is going to go up and hit a certain price by a certain date. So right here we have buy call and then you would pick your date here. So let's go out to March 20th and then these are all of the different contracts that you could buy. So the share price is at $81 right now. So the closer it is to the actual price, the more expensive it is because the chances are it could hit this a lot quicker than it will hit this. So these are a lot cheaper, but the, the chances of them hitting this price are pretty rare. So if it doesn't hit this price, you could actually lose money. So you wanna bet realistically and it is more expensive, but the chances are you will hit this a lot quicker than you will hit this. So say you wanna be risky and think that Square is gonna hit over $100 in a month, you could choose this one and to buy one call option of this, it would be $71. So you're getting 100 contracts for $71. If you were to buy 100 shares of Square, that would be over $800. So you see the, the difference of options to the actual stock. Um, that's why I prefer it. You put down less, but you can make way more. So that is an example of a call option and then we will do a put. So a put is another type of option and that means you think that Square is going to go down. You think it's going to be a bad company in a month. So you think that it is going to hit $75. Now that's only a $5 drop. So the chances are it could do that if the market goes down. It all depends on the market. If it's in a bull run or a bear run, bull means it's going up, bear means it's going down. So right here, if you want to buy the $75 put, you would do 229 times 100. So you'd be paying $229 for one put option. And that means as it goes down, you are making money. So the closer it gets to this $75 mark, that is called your strike price. And that is where the money comes in as you get closer to that. If it goes the other way, you start losing money. So it's almost like a teeter totter, but you get the point. So then if you wanna buy a call, let's say we're buying a call, you would click on here and you'd pick your date, March 20th. And then let's say we think it's gonna hit $90 by March 20th, which is over a month away, which it could do. Um, you would hit plus, and I usually use the phone app, it's really easy to use, but you would hit continue, so basically it would be $212 because you multiply this number by 100. Again, one option is 100 contracts, and then you would hit continue and you would buy. So those are the basics of options. I would look further into it on YouTube, there's a ton of videos out there just to get the hang of it, but as you can see, it's a lot easier than you may think. If you believe in a good company, you could go for it. Um, I recommend going for bigger companies like Disney, Apple, Amazon, Facebook. Again, they're more reliable. If you pick like small companies like Rite Aid, the interest and in options aren't that great. And if you go to buy or sell a contract, no one wants to buy those contracts. So when you try to sell it, you can't sell that contract so you lose money. So keep in mind, always pick the bigger companies. And this isn't a video on like options trading. I'm just showing you how I made that money. I'm no professional and I still don't know that much about options, but I'm showing you it is possible even if you're a beginner, um, but it is a gamble. So keep that in mind. All right, hope this video helped and have a great day.